Hi there, thank you for tuning into SimTech channel in this series of tutorial on the basics of Dig Silent. Now, as you can see here, this table contains very important information that will assist us to complete, uh, execute a load flow analysis. Now, I'm sure most of us understand what is a load flow analysis and why do we do a load flow analysis. But just to recap, so that we are all on the same page moving forward let's just answer the simple question what is a load flow analysis in very simple terms in simple terms, the load flow analysis is meant to assess the steady state operating conditions of a power system network so this basically means after executing a load flow analysis on the nine bar system we're going to determine all the missing elements here on the nine bar system that will be your voltage and your phase angle magnitude. So stay tuned and make sure you pay attention because this topic is very crucial in power system engineering. I'm going to tell you in a moment why is the topic so crucial. Now, load flow analysis can also be done mathematically using the newton raphson method. Now, today we are basically just doing the easy way, the simulation method, right? We've got our given parameters and we're going to input them into our simulation software dig silent and run the simulation we're going to get the conversions and we get the unknown parameter that we are after now in the coming weeks i'm going to do a tutorial on the mathematical method so if you do not want to miss that tutorial you have to make sure that you subscribe to simtech channel and make sure your notification is turned on so that you catch that tutorial when it comes in so to answer the question, why is this analysis so crucial? That is precisely because of the unknown variable that we are after. Now, if you look at this table, we've got three generators here. One is the slack generator, as we've described uh, earlier here on bus one. We know what's the voltage on the generator here is, is 1.04 uh, per unit voltage. Now, the generator is generating at 20 kilovolt and we've got two generator which are PV generator. Now this PV generator, we know what's the capacity is in terms of power, reactive power and real power. That is what we are stating here, the 163 and the 85. But the slack uh, generator, we don't know the power that will be drawn out of that generator. The real and the reactive power are unknown. Right? Why is it unknown? Because since we already know the capacity of this, we cannot draw beyond these two generators. But the reference generator will be able to compensate whatever is missing. So as this generator compensate, we're going to find its real and reactive power. Now, on the two generator on the PV bus, we don't know what's the voltage and we don't know what's the angle. Now, if you look at this table here, the transformers parameter table, we know that uh, the slack bus generator is generating at 20 kilovolt, and the other one is on 13.8, and the third generator is on 18 kilovolt. Now, they are all stepping up to 230 volts, so which means this will be our transmission line voltages. So that basically means our bus bus on the transmission line will be at 230 kilovolt but we are not really certain of, of that because these buses got loads as well attached to that now remember when you attach a load onto a power supply your voltage is going to fluctuate based on the loading this is exactly the reason why we do this load flow analysis to determine those steady state conditions of your voltages and also the angle remember the angle is going to change based on the type of load you have, whether you have reactive, capacitive, or whatever, inductive or resistive load you have on your system. That is why we need to do load flow analysis. That is why it's so crucial. So make sure you really pay attention. And over here, we've got the percentage short circuit parameters for each one of these uh, transformers. Now, this is very important information because uh, later on, we might do a short circuit analysis of our circuit. We also need to know how will these transformers 
perform in case of a short circuit. Now, Dig Silent is a very powerful software and it takes care of all sorts of parameters. So if you have them available, make sure you input them in the correct place because it's just going to increase the accuracy of your simulation result. Now, moving on, we're going to examine the given and the unknown parameters table. Now, in this table here, we've now tabulate what we know and what we don't know, right? Now, we know that on the slack bus, we've got the voltage and we got the angle. The angle is reference angle is zero. The voltage is 1.04 per unit. The power, the real power and the reactive power is unknown to us because that will be determined based on the loading on the other buses. And on the PV bus 1 and 2, we got P and Q, and we don't have a voltage and the angle. Now, we can speculate what the voltage will be, right? But we cannot, for certain, be sure of what will exactly be the magnitude of these voltages, because these buses are going to be loaded with different loads on them. So the voltage will fluctuate that is why we have to do a power flow analysis and get that conversion to determine that voltage and on load uh, bus uh, 4 that is exactly there is exactly nothing there and there's nothing to determine and on load bus 5 we've got p and we've got q we don't have a voltage and we don't have the angle as well now if we backed up a little bit on bus load 6 where we've got p Q, but we don't have the voltage and angle to examine what we have there on bus load 6. Now, we've got 93 megawatt of loading and there is a 32 megavolt reactive on that same bus. Now, it is assumed that that bus is connected on a transmission line of 230 kilovolt. Okay? And we assume a 1 volt per unit. Now, a 1 volt per unit, that basically means we're going to have the 230 to 230 kilovolt. But we don't know for sure. We don't know for certain because the loading here will affect this voltage here. This is why it is, again, crucial to run this load flow analysis so that we can get the exact voltages level on all the bus bar. And that is what we're going to be selling to our customers. So when you do a load flow analysis using the Newton uh, Raphson method, the mathematical method, this is what you will be dealing with. You're going to be dealing with given parameters and you will be on the quest to find unknown parameters. And you're going to do this by doing iteration until you find a conversion, a convergence where your values are not going to change anymore. So that basically you've reached the steady state condition. Now, I'm going to stop this tutorial here. On the second part of this tutorial, we're going to be focusing on constructing our network with all the parameters that we've got available using a deep silent simulation. So make sure you tune in on part two and stay on the lookout. So once again, thank you for watching. If you find this uh, introduction useful, please don't forget to subscribe to SimTech channel and give this tutorial a thumbs up. Until next time, cheers.